What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Folks, I had an interesting question come in this morning and it talked about leaving equipment out in the cold. Now, they're talking about medical equipment, but I think this is even a more important time to talk about test equipment and leaving test equipment out in the cold. Now, while we definitely test our equipment to much colder temperatures than this balmy 50 degrees here in Houston this morning, I, I haven't worn this jacket in a year almost, but we test our equipment to much lower temperatures, but that doesn't mean that you should subjugate them to those temperatures, especially very routinely. Now, there's little things like polymers that don't like to be cold, and there's things like lubricants, which also don't like to be cold. Now, we map our test equipment according to these temperature differences, and we create a table inside the device. And when the device is a certain temperature, it's gonna have a certain pressure calibration. However, it's still not a good idea to do it. All right, you know, just because we test our test equipment to those stringent levels, doesn't mean everybody does. So remember, test equipment is very precious and it's very expensive, right? So let's not leave them out in our vehicles, especially, you know, with thefts on the rise and whatnot, but they just shouldn't be cold, all right? Bring them inside the house. If you're staying at a hotel, you're a traveling technician, stay inside, bring them inside with you. That way there, they can stay at a nominal temperature because you really don't want your precision test equipment to be extremely warm, extremely cold. I know you guys are probably laughing, 50 degrees, haha, ha, that's not really not that bad. But some of y'all right now are going through a cold spell, especially this week. And I just wanna let you guys know that things like medical equipment and test equipment shouldn't be out in freezing cold weather. It's not a good idea. It really does play hell on all the connections and whatnot and just really not good so remember a cool temperature and low humidity are always preferable for all electronics including your medical test equipment thanks for watching guys